What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you two different ways to tie your belt for jiu-jitsu. One, I tie for competition, and the other, I tie for training in the gym um, and for kids. Uh, a lot of my students have been asking me consistently how to tie your belt, how to tie your belt. Well, I'm making this video so that I can post a link, send it to them, and so that anyone else who's curious about it can understand my perspective and see how I tie my belt. If you're not subscribed already, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button because I appreciate it and it supports my channel and helps me make more content for you guys to enjoy and hopefully learn from and use. Also hit the like button because the YouTube algorithm appreciates it and so do I. Thanks for watching. Now let's get into tying knots. For the Hollywood knot from this perspective, I'm going to make sure both tails are even in front of me. I'm gonna start from the front and wrap around the back. I pass to me each hand and then bring the tails out in front, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one tail, doesn't matter which one, is gonna go tight to my belly button basically, a little below my belly button. And the other one is gonna come over top of that making an X with the two ends, okay? Now I hold the X in place and the tail that's on top is going to come under both wraps around my waist there, okay? Once I've got that, I can tighten the belt up making sure it's tight around my waist and this tail that's on bottom is going to come over and it's gonna go in between the top tail and the two wraps right here. So I tuck it in there, making sure to leave a little loop to give space for me to finish the rest of the knot here. The tail that's on top now is going to come forward. It's gonna go through the loop and then this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm actually gonna pass it in between the top wrap and the bottom wrap on my waist. So when I pass it through here, and that just tightens up the knot a little bit, when I pass it through, I start tightening up the loop with the bottom tail, pull it tight, and I've got a perfect Hollywood knot. This knot does not come untied very easily, and it will be very good for training and for kids to enable them to train more and worry less about their belt coming untied. So now, the next knot I'm gonna show you guys is the knot that I use for competition. You may be wondering, why would you use a different knot for training versus competition? Don't you want them always to stay tied? And the answer is no. When I'm competing, I want my belt to come untied. The reason for that is this belt is an extra grip, okay? And if I tie this knot, if I tie the Hollywood knot, and it doesn't come undone and just gets tighter and tighter, I'm never gonna be able to break it. The belt grip is one of the hardest grips to break, depending on the position you're in, and I'd much rather have the belt fall off than to have my opponent have this grip permanently. Okay, so the next knot that I'm gonna tie is called the overhand knot. That's what we're gonna go with for this video. So it starts out the exact same as the Hollywood knot. All right, tails are even, pass my gi over, wrap it around from the front and bring the two tails in front of you, okay? Now, you're gonna put one down, okay? And then the other one is gonna go over top of that making a little X with the two tails here. All right, I hold it with my opposite hand and now the tail on top is gonna come down and underneath both wraps, okay? And now I've got this right here, okay? The tail on bottom now is going to come parallel with the two wraps. Now that it's parallel, the one on top is going to come over that and then I'm gonna reach through that loop and grab the end of the tail on top. And now I'm gonna pull it through right here and tighten it. <clears throat> and now we've got a perfect overhand knot, very loose. It's more likely to come undone during competitions, which will give you a breather as well as not allow your opponent to have a really strong grip on your waist. These are the two best ways to tie your belt for jujitsu. For competition, I'm using the overhand knot where it's loose. For training and drilling in the gym or for kids, I'm using the Hollywood knot where it just doesn't come untied that often. Keep on on the channel for further videos. Hit the like button because it's good to know how to tie your belt. Thanks for watching.